and welcome to my channel. Today I am doing a tag and this tag um, was created by Madison Mary at Princess of Paperback and this tag is called the stay at home book tag. This is based on obviously the current situation that we're all in, obviously the stay at home and I think this is a really nice tag to do and um, it's also giving a shout out to some authors at the moment that obviously have got publications coming out and obviously people can't really buy them because no one can go out and obviously bookstores are closed at the moment so it's kind of good to have this awareness that obviously authors are publishing books at the moment. These prompts are really nice and um, sensitive to obviously the current situation that we're all in. I was tagged by Julie at Julie Autumn Book so thank you very much Julie for tagging me. I will leave her channel down below. Be sure to check it out. She's got some amazing videos and yeah I'm gonna get started with the tag. The first prompt is Laying in Bed, a book that you could have read all day or have read all day. So for this one I'm gonna go with The Name of the Star by Maureen Johnson. This one is behind me right there but alas I cannot get it out because it is literally wedged in that shelf. <laughs> so anyway I will just talk about it with a picture here. Yeah this one I have talked about a few times on my channel if you've been with me for a while and I just I don't know why I just love this book so much. It was kind of a book I read a while ago and I did actually get this one from the library and I decided to buy it my, myself because I thought it was really really good. We follow Rory who is a student who is moving to um, I can't remember the school, what the school's called, but it's a boarding school in Whitechapel and there's a copycat killer of Jack the Ripper. I don't want to give too much away because I don't want to spoil the story or anything, but there's amazing characters in it and I said, as I said, it's really paranormal. Um, Maureen Johnson, I think, is more famous recently for her Tree Devious series and so I thought I'd give this series a shout out as well because this is just as good, this series. And yeah, I loved it and it was probably one of the first YA books I read, like, ever, so... <laughs> And I think I did read it within a day, I think. The next question is Snacking, a guilty pleasure book. So for this one, ooh, for this one I have gone with any book by Holly Swain, but I'm just going to pick this one up because it was like the first one on my shelf and I have read this book and I really, really enjoyed it. Holly Swain writes very easygoing books in my opinion. They're very easy to read, they're very fast to read and she writes a lot of, I would call it chiclet, I think. And surprisingly, like, I like her books because... I don't really like chiclet that much. I like contemporaries or like literary fiction that maybe feature a bit of romance, but this I would call probably more chiclet and her characters are really fun to read about as well. And I think at a time like this, I could definitely sit here and just read her books and feel really, really happy with them. I have pretty much all her books at the moment. I haven't read all of them yet. I can just see my reflection that's distracting me with my laptop. <laughs> um, where was I? Yeah, I'm hoping to get to her books now as well with you know being off and everything. But yeah, definitely feel like this would be a good gooey pleasure book. Third prompt is series you want to start. So for this one I've gone with the selection series. I do have this series somewhere but I haven't been able to get it. <laughs> it's kind of high up and I can't really reach it at the moment. So um yeah, the selection series. And I think if I'm correct there is a Netflix film coming out based on the selection series, I think. I don't know, I may be wrong. Um, but yeah, this one just looks very appealing to me. The covers, I've seen this book, these books going around for a long time, um, but I've never really got to them. And I finally have the box set, so I'm going to devour them probably, because a lot of people say that this is their Guilty Pleasure series. I don't really know what it's about. I think it's like about a dystopian uh world i think honestly that's all i know i don't really know actually what this book's about i feel really bad right now just saying that but yeah i am excited to get to this however even though i don't really know what it's about and to be fair i, I don't really want to know much about it because then um, you know it's more a surprise when i do read it hi all it's editing emmeline from the future here um i literally just realized i missed out a question which was the fourth one and that was deep clean a book that's been on your tbr for a while i think i missed it out because i got really excited about the next question which we'll see in a minute but for this one i'm gonna say nice circus the night nice circus by erin morgenstern i really want to get to this one soon i've had so many good things about this one and um it has been on my tbr for the longest time i think it's intimidated me for a while hence why i haven't really got to it and i know the writing is super small but as people have said they really liked it so i'm sort of like yes let's get to it but yeah there's the answer to that one and now back with the rest of the video this is my favorite prompt when i saw this i was like yes the fifth prompt is animal crossing and this one is a book you recently brought due to the height and i went with the flat share by beth o'leary this one has been getting a lot of praise recently some have been good some have been bad um it's kind of a i don't know some people haven't really liked this book and uh, some people have that's what i'm trying to say and yeah this one is i think a romance i think basically it's about leon and tiffy who 
occupy a flat together but they don't actually see each other because I think Tiffy works at night or something and or works during the day or something like that they don't really see each other because they work at different times and they leave each other notes kind of thing and it's kind of told through them leaving notes that's all I've heard really um, but it sounds really intriguing I'm really excited to get to this one next question which is the sixth one is productiv productivity I can say the word and that one is a book that had an impact on you so for this one I was like there were a few books that have had an impact on me but I feel like I wanted to talk about something that was more positive um, because I want this to be a positive video. So I went with Talking As Fast As I Can by Lauren Graham. If you don't know who Lauren Graham is, she is features in Gilmore Girls and this is a non-fiction book that she came out with quite recently. Um, I read it a few years ago. This is about Lauren Graham and how she got into Gilmore Girls but it also talks about how she got into writing and how she writes and with me wanting to be a writer myself, um, I found her tips really um, helpful and insightful for example she talked about how she would write for like an hour and obviously with writing it's easy to get distracted and I totally totally agree with that like when I'm writing I get easily distracted by anything but with Lauren Graham she was saying like just write for an hour turn like your phones off everything off and just completely focus on your book and I tried that method out and it actually really worked just writing for an hour just no pressure to like write for more than that and she almost said i think she said that it almost felt like she could write even more because of that the advice was really really good in this and that's why it had an impact on me and she's a really great actor and i really love gilmore girls so yeah the seventh prompt is a facetime a book you were gifted this one could obviously be the one i just held up but i thought i'd hold up a different one and this was gifted to me by my parents and then full steam ahead felix <laughs> Okay, that's an interesting title um, by Katie Moore. This is, I think, the second in a series to another book that I have called Just Felix. So that cat called Felix who was on the news recently in England and he lives on like a platform somewhere in England and I don't know, I think he just helps run the train station. I just thought it was a really cute story when I saw it on the news and I got the first book um, a few years ago and then this one came out this Christmas actually. I got this one for this Christmas just gone. And yeah, I'm really excited to get to this one. It's a non-fiction book, like the previous one I just held up, and I'm really trying hard to get more into non-fiction, whether that's just something about a cat, a real-life cat, or something more serious. Just non-fiction, I think I'm just really enjoying it at the moment. I just really want to get more into it. Um, the eighth prompt is self-care, something you've done recently to look after yourself. So for me, I guess reading is something I've done to look after myself. Reading just gives me that, you know, extra escapism that I really want at the moment. But I have a few things. One of them's a bit random, and that is word search books. Well, basically, I brought a load of word search books like a few years ago, and I've decided just to do them. And I just give them like a few minutes of my time, and I just feel really like nice doing them, and it just gives me that escape again. And I just really enjoy them. Another thing as well is something I've mentioned recently on my channel, and that's an eye mask. Um, I'm just going to hold the box up. It's empty at the moment because my mask, my mask that I use this morning is currently calling. Um, but this one is something that has been helping my eyes recently because I've been suffering from blepharitis. So this just helps me a lot and it looks after me and it's just sorted my blepharitis out completely. And it's just really relaxing as well to have on. Like, it's just really nice. So the ninth question is the last one and that is a bonus. Name book that is coming out recently um, or soon. I have two that I want to talk about. 10 Things I Hate About Pinky by Sandy M. Manon. I think that's how you say her name. This is the third book in the Dumple Met Rishi series and I think it's already out or it's coming out this July. I don't really want to talk about this book too much because I haven't um, read Dumple Met Rishi for a while and I kind of want to reread this one. But I recently purchased her other book called Twinkle from With Love and I'm really excited to read that one. So I thought I'd mention this one as well because this was on like the little buy thing. And the next one is by an author that I have been talking about a lot recently on my channel and that is Holly Bourne's new book Pretending. This is I think more of like an adult fiction book which is interesting it's not a YA book. I don't know again if this one's already out or if it's coming out I'm really confused because I swear it was coming out this April but then I checked on Amazon and it's not coming out until like next year but that could be because of what's going on at the moment I'm really confused but this one I know it should be coming out soon <laughs> and i'm going to tag a few people and of course feel free to do this tag it's a very important tag at the moment and i think it will just bring everyone a bit of happiness i'm going to tag kayla by kj and her books hillary at melted books 
and Christmas like the holidays. These are really cool channels and I definitely recommend checking them out. I've tagged them, I've tagged them, I've linked them down below so make sure you go and watch those um, videos and subscribe. But yeah I hope you guys enjoyed my video and this tag and I enjoyed doing this tag. It's brought me a distraction and I hope as well it brings you a bit of happiness watching it and I think that's all we need at the moment is just a lot of happiness. Um, but I hope you enjoyed and I will see you on my next video. Bye.